hey, we're going to make some tater tots. Now, I'm not going to be using leftover mashed potatoes. We're going to start from scratch and peel these potatoes, shred them up, and try to make some jalapeno and cheese tater tots. So I added in a couple of more small potatoes, washed them off, put them in a pot, and let them come to a boil and let them boil for about seven minutes. And while we're waiting on that, we're going to dice up one jalapeno. We're going to take the seeds out, then we'll slice it and dice it. Well, we have our jalapenos diced up and we're going to put them in this little bowl sitting here on the cutting board. Oh, and looky there, our taters are boiling, so we're going to have to go about seven minutes. Now we're going to make some little cheese chunks and have them where we can stuff them tater tots with them. Now this is trial and error on this part. I'm going to try to put it in the center. Don't always work, so we have a variety of different ones. Well, the potatoes are done. We're going to rinse them with cold water and let them set in cold water to let them cool down before we shred them up. Now these aren't completely done. They'll finish up once we fry the tater tots. Now after they've cooled down, we'll shred them up. Get them cooled down enough where you can handle them. And when you're doing this, be sure to keep an eye on your fingers and knuckles. Well, we have the potatoes all shredded up. Now, we're going to rinse them. Now, we run cold water in there, and then we'll take our hands and wash it around in there and get a lot of this starch out of there, and we'll do this two or three times. And I find that if you rinse them until they come clean, it makes it more crispier when you fry them up. Now for another rinsing. And again, I'm using cold water. And we'll rinse them about three times until the water is clear. And then after the last rinse, I leave them in the strainer and I run some cold water over it while it's setting. Now after they set in the strainer for a while to get as much water off of them as you can, I put them on a paper towel. Probably should use a cloth towel if you have one, but I use paper towel and I pat it and then I roll it and press on it, trying to get all the water out of it I can. Then I pick it up and I dump it in a bowl. And now it's time to add our seasonings and flour. One teaspoon of garlic powder. And I add about two teaspoons of onion powder. About one teaspoon of kosher salt. About two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Then mix it well with your hands or however you want to mix it. You can use a spoon or whatever. I mix it with my hands. Get it all well mixed. So I make a few that are just regular tater tots. And then I make some with some cheese in it. And then I make some with jalapeno and cheese in it. So we'll have a variety here. Now I'll try to load cheese inside and put more potatoes and form it. Some may be a little bigger, some a little smaller. But in the long run, they all taste great. Now we're going to dump our jalapeno peppers in with the potatoes and mix it up. Now we're going to stuff a few of this mix with a little bit of cheese. And again, we're going to have a variety of tater tots. And 
now we add all the cheese to the mix. And then we'll roll them up in balls or maybe even like a large tater tot. Who knows? Hey, <laughs> these are good. They may look funny, some of them, but they are good. Well, I believe we got about 16 of them. And we have our oil ready about 350 degrees. And we're going to fry these up. Deep fry. Maybe that's semi-deep fry. Those browned up just fine. These turned out fantastic. Now we'll just kind of turn them here a little bit now and then, making sure all around is brown and looks good. And these do. These really look good. Now we get the last of them put in. You can see the jalapeno in them. You can see a little bit of cheese on some of them. And these done better than I thought. I thought, you know, I'm gonna lose this cheese in them, but I don't. Actually, they turn out good. They had the cheese in them and they were great. Well, there you have it. Hey, they look delicious and they were delicious. Hey, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you consider subscribing.